Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. Uh, this is a game by Wolverine Studios. Check it out. Uh, if you need the link, let me know and I will try to share it with you because I always forget to do it when I upload the video. And that's just because I'm old. I'll blame it on that. Lack of brain cells. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we are back. This is Season 3, Episode 6. Uh, we actually had a pretty decent go last sim or last episode I'm, I'm used to calling football games sims because of the online league aspect uh, that I play in uh, but we uh, we actually won back-to-back -back games after getting drubbed by the Eagles uh, thank God we beat the hell out of them in real life uh, and then uh, of course Atlanta manhandled us as well but uh, we did have uh, the win in week eight against the Rams. So three and two with an off week. I will take that after a one and five start, but we are still fighting an uphill battle. We are not eliminated from the playoffs, but honestly, at this point, I think I would just like the high draft pick, is my opinion. And who did we get the... Uh, we got the Buccaneers' two th uh, third round pick. So where are they at right now? The yucks. Six and six. So we'd, we'd like them to be behind us, but preferably with a worse record, I'd like them to be the Panthers right now. <laughs> uh, this is new. I hadn't seen this, so it's probably not new, new in the game, but I don't recall seeing the game of the week. I don't look at this side too, too often, but... Uh, the predictions of the week for our match. Uh, and everybody's picking the Giants, except for Mary Moore. She she has a hunch. It might just be gas, Mary. Could just be gas. Um, they're 10-1. and one. We're 4-7. and seven. Yeah, I don't see it happening here. But you never know. You never know. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here, look at injuries. So probable, 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 doubtful with a broken finger and Covington out, out with a stress fracture for one to two weeks. Uh, that does bring Amari Cooper's back full time. We saw that last match. So let's get into it, shall we? Week 13, road game going up to New York. By the way, this is off topic completely, sports related, off topic. Uh, so I live in Houston. Go Astros. World Series starts tonight. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Game one is tonight. Are the New York Yankee fans the biggest douches in the world? Seriously. And if you're a Yankee fan, I apologize. And you might not be a douche, but holy crap. Even Jimmy Kimmel. So Jimmy Kimmel, understand he's based out of New York, but he does a national late night talk show, right? I got a lot of issues with Jimmy Kimmel far, far beyond the Houston Astros, but they did a thing last night, evidently where they interviewed Yankee fans uh, and they were flipping the Astros off and, you know, calling them instead of the Astros, it was the Astros. So, you know, if Jimmy Kimmel can say that YouTube, I should be able to say that just saying. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, just bullshit like that. Um, they were, they were, they, you know, some of the fans that showed up at the game in Houston were just utter dicks. I mean, really serious. I mean, we have Cub fans down here all the time. And most of the time, you know, Houston's a pretty easy, you know, get along city. You know, the Yankee fans were just assholes, assholes. So I'm glad we kicked their ass. And I, you know, and I've never been a Yankee hater. Um, in fact, uh, being from, I'm from Louisiana, Ron Guidry pitched for the Astro for the uh, for the Yankees. Remember, he went 25 and three in 1978. Remember that year? You know, so yeah, you know, I follow him. I, you know, I mean, Derek Jeter was a class act. Obviously, his retirement has taken all the class out of that organization, and Joe Torre as well. Because uh, you just never heard about stuff like this with the Yankees when when uh, when Jeter and Tory were there. But anyway, that was my rant. Uh, I was seeing that stuff today, so you know, just whatever Yankee fans. Um, 
I'm glad you lost, and I hope we, we can beat you again next year. Uh, so let's get on with some football, shall we? Week 13. Four points. Uh, you know, moral victories and all that doesn't really matter. Randy Ship, eight, oh my God, an 81 yard punt return? Seriously? I mean, we, oh, we held him to 243. Is that Kyle Laletta from Richmond? Wow. Has he started every game for them? He has. Man, did Daniel Jones get kicked to the curb? Crazy. Anyway, that sucks. Zach Martin signs our deal. Good. Glad his uh, agent didn't make me wait uh, two or three weeks to find out what was going to happen. All right, Chicago comes into Big D. Does our D show up? No, another three-point loss. Fuck. God, I am so ready. Jaquiz Rogers. Oregon State, wasn't it? Yes, Oregon State. Called it here. Um, boy. Two-yard pass, one-yard run. Reuter had to come in again. Um, no shit. How did he get from Buffalo to the Bears? Did they trade for him? Brain to rest. He must have been. Oh, he was a free agent. $3.8 million deal. Four years. Wait a minute. If he signed a four year contract in 20. 22. That was this year. Oh, he signed a one-year deal with the Bears last season, and then he signed a four-year extension. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, compare player. Um, select quarterback. Trubisky? Trubisky is still with the Bears. Hello. Arm is better. Intelligence is close. Accuracy is close. So according to the ex the experts, Trubisky's not any any better than Allen. But Let's see, he had 13, 24, 16, 13, and 5, 62, 61%, 10, and 3, 60%, 13, and 13, 15, and 6, 62%. Yeah, I don't know, man. That seems like they're carrying. He's got 740,000 left, so. I guess they've just decided to go uh, in a different direction, but doesn't look like a big upgrade, right? But hey, he beat you know he beat us, so that is what it is. Uh, da -da -da, don't need anything there. All right, back against the Giants this time in Dallas. Oh wow, we shut them out. We're going to have a losing record. I'm probably going to fire my coach. Boswell, field goal, Boswell, Boswell. A lot of field goals by Mr. Boswell. A lot of no... T oh, wow. So Dak did get hurt. 22 out of 40. Ooh. 
That's disgusting. That is disgusting. All right, we can delete those. Yes. Go down here. Frazier's out with a family emergency. All right. And a concussion. Yeah, you got to be careful with those. You know, it's not like the old days where you played through it. All right, let's look at the standings. Oh, we are no longer in the cellar. That's actually not good because that's going to cost us draft spots. <laughs> I mean, so... Uh, seven and eight, seven, nine and five. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. Two games left, so we're out of the playoffs. All right, well, whatever. Let's just finish the season then. That sucks. Another two-point loss in overtime. In overtime. Seven. Pedro Teal. Okay. Um... Oh, that's right. I put down for the whole quarter in overtime. Forgot. I'm like, how the hell are they scoring back-to-back -back possessions? I haven't had an overtime game in a while. <laughs> All right, Prescott's back in. Not a eh, not a horrible game. Not a great game. No, not a horrible game. 3.7 for Elliott. Not good. Ship, Cooper. Cooper, 119 yards. Uh, two for two, two for two. He hit two from 50 plus. Sweet. Look at that. 52 and 55 yards. Kudos to you. And a two point conversion failed. I guess that's good. Because they would have won the game on that 45 yard field goal. Uh, all right. Well. Yes, I have emails. There's probably nothing important. It doesn't notify me about injury or anything, so that's kind of worthless to me. I don't read all that stuff anyway. All the game matchups and whatnot. Hello. Uh, show games. There we are. 17. Show score. Ooh. Oh, that, I said, Washington was behind us. That could be good. That could be good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we finished behind. That means we'll pick in front of them. Tampa Bay finishes 9-7. and seven. That could have been worse. Uh, let's see. Tampa Bay. Buccaneers. Roster. Travis Frederick started seven games, 15 pancakes, one sack allowed. I mean, good on him, you know. It's just, you know, he wasn't going to play for us. And uh, he was a backup, so is what it is. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and knock out the playoffs. So we have the Saints and the Seahawks, Lions, Falcons, Jaguars, Raiders, Bills, Steelers. All right, so Raiders shut out the Jaguars 31-0. They move on to take on the Colts. Bills beat the Steelers by 12, and they'll take on the Jets, the high-flying Jets. Saints win 30 to 17. They'll take on the Giants and the Falcons edge the Lions. So the Falcons will take on the Packers. All right. Saints. Oh, the Saints just destroyed the Giants. Wow. Teddy Bridgewater is still there. Uh, Edward White, Ohio State. So let's look. Intelligence. I mean, his accuracy is not that good, is it? It's intelligence. 
His arm is not that strong. Forty five hundred yards, thirty five touchdowns, sixteen interceptions. Yeah, I could uh I could live with that. Thirty five point nine attempts a game. So that's gonna be I wonder I'm gonna write that down because I want to go thirty five thirty five point nine attempts per game passing. All right, um, so the Saints win big. Packers beat the Falcons. Colts crush the Raiders, and the Jets beat the Bills handily. Packers beat the Saints handily. 49-42 in overtime. Jets beat the Colts. Did the Jets quarterback come out and guarantee victory over the Packers? I know it was the Colts they played in Super Bowl three, but still, you can't beat the Colts when you're in the same league with them, right? It's impossible. And the Jets do beat the Packers, 13-10. to 10. Aaron Jones, Correa, 108-yard kickoff return to open the game. Aaron Rodgers to Aaron Jones, evens it up, 66-yard pass couple of field goals and then a game-winning field goal with 49 seconds left in the game Sam Darnold gets it done I just saw Sam Darnold play last night and Sam Darnold is not that tan sorry Sam Darnold is whitey white he's like this white oh I saw a meme about him um do you remember the sidekick or the wannabe sidekick in the Incredibles. That's what Sam Darnold looked like. Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Just Anyway, I like Darnold. I hope he has a good career. Um, but last night was not his night. Uh, let's see. We. Dallas. We finish off uh, near the bottom in points. Top 10 in rushing, top 10 in pass defense. Otherwise, we are outside the top half. Yuck. All right. Uh, yeah, don't care about all that. Sam Darnold, playoff MVP. Joseph Prince of Miami, the league MVP. Offensive player of the year. Pro Bowl, don't care about it. Did we have anybody even elected? Can I? Yes, I can. I can expand it. All right, now I can at least see what team they play for. And... No, not a single player. And we can open that up. Elliot, 1,440 yards, 12 touchdowns. No, that's just to add. Yep, don't care. If you're not in there, doesn't matter. American AFC wins 24-17. All right, into the season statistics for us. Reuter, oh, Dak Prescott. 3,163 yards, below 60%, 17 and 8 touchdown to interceptions, 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns for Elliott. That's not a bad year. 80 catches for Ship, 53 for Cooper. Ship almost breaks 1,000 yards. He also gets seven touchdowns. Uh, where is he at on contract? Hello, contract. All right, he's got two years left, so he, he'll he be back next year. Knowles, uh, 59 catches, 484, two touchdowns. Not bad. Oliphant, 62 catches, 532, two touchdowns. 
Chubb, two interceptions, 105 tackles. He was a good signing in free agency. Jalen Smith. All right, uh, kicking. Let's see. So we had Boswell and Vasquez. Ugh. They really need. They really need to show the breakdown here. Yeah, I mean, I could go in and look, but. All right, five of five. Six of nine inside 40 is not good. One of four, three of four. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let these guys kick it out next year. They'll both be on the roster for spring ball. And we may end up cutting one of them just to, you know, save the, save the money. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end the season. We signed everybody we wanted to sign. Horrible year, not good in the least. Let's see, real quick. So we had not, we had 11 losses. So one, three, five, eight, 12, 15, 17, 17 points made up seven losses the other ones were lopsided so i think seven losses i mean you take that off and now we're what 12 and 4 that's the difference between first and last i think those are winnable games i think we're we're really that close i mean you know you're going to lose some games by 10 but these one two three point losses that's the difference between winning and going to the playoffs and going one and seven on the road, right? So we will be back next episode. We will get into the draft and free agency and do all that other good stuff. Uh, bleh, we'll put this season behind us, I hope. I do need to go in and uh, figure out what we're going to do with coaches uh, I don't think either one of you guys deserve a new contract. Are they out of... Didn't we just re-sign those guys? I'm pretty sure we re-signed these guys. Three and a half star on offense... Three and a half star on defense. Preparation's only a two. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this. See, his preparation's horrible. I think I'm going to fire him. I believe I'm going to fire him. After the season, yep, we just didn't live up to expectations. He's got to go. He was our he was our offensive coordinator, I believe. Yes. Could I demote him? Probably not the best thing to do. Enthusiastic conservative. I'm going to go ahead and re sign him. Four and a half million for five years. And defense has not really been the issue. Three and a half for five years. We're going to do that. I am going to fire the coach. I've got to hire someone new. I don't know who, but we'll figure it out. Uh, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will move on, thank God, to a new season.
See you later. Bye.